to fit all the hypercells in it. Watch out, me! Don't worry. as hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypercell. Cell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some, led by Raphael Marx, waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I... I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be... Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence 
created by Mother Sphere. No, we're humans. Humans with complete bodies in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then, why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point, Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Natiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, well, that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story.
Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving then? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean, in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Hey, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Recognize them? I don't think anyone blamed you. They just accepted their fate. I see. Then I'll have to do my part as a survivor. I won't be able to achieve anything grand, but thank you, Angel. It took a load off my mind. retrieved the memory sticks from the ruins. But there were far more dead people than there were intact memory sticks. D treasure Treasure. My treasure. I won't lose it. <laughs> I'm sorry I can protect you. I'm sorry I ran away. I'm sorry I survived. Eve. Are you positive we can trust her with the memory sticks? I could hold on to them, make sure they reach Mother Sphere, but I think she'll be all right, Adam. All right. If you insist. What? My goodness. So there really was an energy source. G give it to me, Angel. Now, we had an agreement. You're supposed to give it to me. An angel shouldn't lie. Give it to me. Do you hear yourself? How can you be so entitled? Hey, there's a fusion drive at the back of the store. Strange, isn't it? Wait, wait. You, you can't just... Come on. Let's find out what's really going on. What's this? Well... You see, she's my wife. She died a long time ago. Your wife? Then you should have said so. How could I? I wasn't about to take any chances. Not that it mattered in the end. Well, that's all there is to it, Angel. I may talk big, but I'm still only human. Well, I guess.
guess he's not such a bad guy after all, huh? You can have the fusion cell. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Seems like we're seeing a lot of each other. Welcome. I apologize for the current state of the shop. You're here, Angel. What about my sister? Kaya. Well... There isn't an easy way to say this, so... Take this. Oh... This... This is a memory stick. That means... Yes. I took out an Atiba called Behemoth and retrieved it from the area. Please consider her death avenged. Avenged? Huh? Is... is that what it is? Actually, I figured this would happen. I knew my sister couldn't have survived like that. I was just hoping for the best. But I guess all I was doing was just denying reality. Kaya. It, it's okay. The important thing is that I have my sister's memories back. Her memory will live on in me, running our establishment together. Thank you, Angel. Please, come back again soon. I'm doing what I can to meet my destiny. Thanks for your heart. That's all. Yes, Angel. I know it's not my business, but I hope you are able to finish your mission. I hope so too. Thank you. dictator, using the power of the Natibas to subjugate his people. But Orkul is the prophet. He saved the people here. Right, sure. But more and more people are starting to doubt even Mother's fear. Let alone the prophet. People go to such lengths searching for the truth, but still fail to look right under their noses. Hmm. I'd better look into this. Yeah, I agree. is in need of repairs. Anyway, it should be useful in understanding the current status of the city. I can always buy some small shrimp from Clyde. 
This request sounds fun. Did you get it? I knew I was right about you. The body call first. Well, look at you, miss. It's for the people of Zion. No need to stare daggers at me. Here you go. Where did you get this from? What did you do? Don't tell me you went after another airborne squad member. <laughs> no way. I wouldn't dare try to kill an angel. That's all you're getting out of me. Another important bit of info. There's always a secret to trade. Until next time, then. Remember, I'm always open for business. Roxanne. Angel, thank you so much for bringing a little bit of light into this dark alleyway. I didn't come here for your compliments. <laughs> Very scary. What is it? Oh, honey. Are you leaving? That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta-ta. Sister, it's you. I hope your day has been peaceful. As for myself, I'm being plagued with agonizing thoughts. Oh yeah? What's wrong? Well, I believe Mother is testing me. As I told you before, I thought my shameful brother's fate had been sealed. But I never imagined I'd be given news about him from a scavenger. You're saying he's alive? Yes, sister. Or rather, he was last seen alive. Life is a blessing for Mother Sphere and the Network, and I am forever grateful for this. But my brother Felix has become a sinner. This sacrilege I cannot just forgive and forget. But only Mother can judge and punish. Sister, no scavenger can find missing people while evading the monsters of the Great Desert. You are my only hope, Angel. Please. Well, all right. I've already involved myself in this. Oh, Mother Sphere. You have given someone in need a ray of hope. I will send you the location data I purchased. May Mother guide you. enough to find it however oh thank goodness please give it back to me yes here <laughs> huh? oh, my baby you finally made it back home to me <laughs> It's unfortunate the memory was also badly damaged. Don't fret. No matter what you are, I'll always love you. Forever. Hey, Beatrice, right? Are you sure it was an Atiba that did it? Angel, 
Is that you? I didn't know you were still here. Why are you asking the obvious? Do you... Are you doubting me? That trace... It doesn't seem as though Enetiba was responsible. You weren't there, Angel. You weren't there. I was. My baby was killed by Enetiba. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw it. Uh, I'll pay you, just like I promised. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't say such foolish things. Let's get out of here. Somewhere else. Where we won't be interrupted. <laughs> Lily, have you seen Adam? Um, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. be an Alpha Metiba in the orbit elevator. If it hadn't been for Oracle's help, we might have never realized. Something need fixing? <laughs> <laughs> 